If you're still using Windows 10 and you don't want to upgrade to Windows 11 yet, then I have a good news for you. You can get extended security updates for free. And I think most people already know this. Soon Microsoft is going to end the support for Windows 10. There are only a couple of months left, but don't worry. If you don't want to upgrade to Windows 11, yeah, you get time. So this is a official blog post from the Microsoft and here they talk about the Windows 10 extended security updates. We understand that moving to new PC can take time and we are here to support you every step of the way. Yay! Finally, Microsoft is doing something good. I'm not joking. I'm, I'm, I'm serious here. Okay. So they say today we are introducing additional free enrollment options and the simple steps to get started. So there are three different options to get the extended security updates. First one is use the Windows backup. That's it, simple. Second, redeem Microsoft Rewards Point. This one is also easy and free. So if you do one of these things, yeah, you will just get the extended security updates for free till October 2026. And third way to get this is to pay the Microsoft $30. Usually extended security updates costs money, okay? But this time, Microsoft is being generous and giving us a option to get it for free. Okay, some people might like this, some people don't. So let me show you guys how to get it, okay? So on your Windows 10, the first method to get the extended security updates is search here Windows Backup Settings one, okay? Go there and in here, just uh, click on sign into OneDrive or maybe I think you have to use this one. Let me actually read that carefully. Oh, Windows Backup to Sync. Yeah, yeah, you, you'll have to use this one, Windows Backup. My bad, okay? So here uh, it will sync folders and files uh, apps, preferences, settings, and credentials, like the account passwords, Wi-Fi passwords, and everything. Okay, just use this one and click on backup and you're done. And you can also see what are the things that it backed up and all that. It will basically sync everything to the cloud on the Microsoft OneDrive. That's it. That's all you have to do to get the extended security updates. That's the first method and again as i said some people may like this some people may not the reason is that you'll have to use a microsoft account so if you're using local account you can't you know back up because you need a account and uh, second option also requires you to have a microsoft account because you'll need to redeem the microsoft rewards points yeah if you're a person who doesn't like using microsoft account on windows 10 11 then yeah it's kind of sad but if you're a person who is desperate to get the extended security updates you just don't want to upgrade to windows 11 i mean yeah you can go and uh, use the Microsoft account and the second option how to redeem the Microsoft uh, you know points is that once this thing starts rolling out the extended security updates thingy you'll get this option in Windows updates or in your notification panel once you open this option it will you know uh, look something like this enroll in extended security update to stay protected you just hit next and you choose the option Okay, just choose the second option, redeem Microsoft Rewards Point. So right now, this is being rolled out slowly. Okay, if you don't see this option yet, don't worry, you'll get it. Or the Windows backup thingy is already here. You can just open it up and enable the backup. Okay, once you have this, you don't have to do anything as they say here. Okay, no additional cost or no nothing. I don't know how many of you guys know about the Microsoft Rewards Points. Uh, if you have a Microsoft account and you use the Microsoft Edge, you probably have heard about this. So basically, uh, sign into your Microsoft account and then uh, click on your profile. And here you'll see the Microsoft reward points under the wallet. Or you can go to this website, rewards.bing.com and just sign in with the Microsoft account. Uh, if you're using this for the first time, uh, you'll get some additional points around 400 or something i'm using this for the first time so i got the 440 reward points you can also redeem these points to get roblox 
gift cards and, uh, and other things. So basically you need thousand reward points in here to get the extended security updates for free. Okay, if you don't want to use the backup option. If you go into the point breakdown uh, here, it will tell you what you have to do to earn the reward. You have to do some tasks like uh, search on Bing, something, that's it. That's all you have to do to get the extended security updates. You'll get a option in Windows updates or in the notification panel once this becomes available to your device. So the Windows update app is already on the system. You can just uh, open this and sync your data and you're done. You don't have to do anything. And again, this will give you one extra year of security updates from Microsoft. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. That's all you have to do to get the extended security updates for free on Windows 10. This is actually really good for the people who just want to stay on Windows 10 for a little longer. I mean, you get one more year of free security updates. That's, I think, is enough to make decision whether upgrade to the Windows 11 or get the new device or something. Maybe by that time we'll see Windows 12. Who knows? <laughs> okay, so that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.